This is it. You've made it to the last Host Agency Reviews' Wix website tutorial video. The first four videos of our series have taught you how to set up your website, design the individual sections, add, edit, and arrange pages, and how to make sure your site looks great on both desktop and mobile. There are just a few back-end things that I want to touch on to help you tweak your site design and get the most out of your Wix website. Before we go into technical stuff, there is one more area of design we haven't touched on. In the top bar, you'll see a design dropdown. It is very similar to the design options you've become familiar with on the sections, except this design area works on a larger scale. If I'm on a page and I'm not liking how things are looking, but I want to keep the general layout, I can click Page Designs. This will generate three different variations of the page I'm on, just like when you first started on your site and Wix generated different home pages for you to choose from. The difference here is that you can do it for each page and it keeps the content and sections that you already have. So as you can see here, the sections are all laid out just how I have them on my existing home page, except the designs are a little bit different for each one. If you prefer one of these over your existing design, you can click it and it will change your page to match this design. I like my existing home page, so I'm not going to select any of these, but let's try this out on another page. There's not a lot of sections here, but here's the different variations it came up with. Now one thing I've learned is that, let's say I didn't like any of these three, but I'm still not a fan of this, I can go back up and do page designs again, and it's going to generate three more variations. So out of these, I think I like this one. And so now it changes that page format for me. The other ones should look familiar to you, just like the designs from the sections. So if I go into colors, this is going to affect the entire site, not just the page I'm on. You can tell I am currently using the palette that was created from my logo because of this blue check mark here. You'll also see recommended palettes that Wix has created. Notice that the first color in all of these is the same. It's the same as the main color up here. You can choose to change the main color whenever you'd like. Now this doesn't populate with your logo palette. If you do want to change it to a different color in your logo palette, you'll have to have the hex code that you can enter here. Otherwise, you can choose a completely different color that's on this list. And now you notice the palettes have changed. So if I click a different palette on here, it changes for the entire site. And let's say I choose a palette, whether it's my logo palette or one of these recommended palettes, I can also go into edit palette colors and change out individual colors if there's one I don't like or if there's a particular one I want to add. Next up, fonts. So we had originally chosen the bold theme when we created this site. And you can tell that's the fonts I'm on. I can switch to, let's switch to clean and see what happens. This is a really nice way of being able to change the look across your site, but still keeping it all together. I like the original bold that it was with, so I'm gonna keep it there. One new one is site animation. Site animation is really similar to the scroll effect that we went over for images previously. The biggest difference is that this doesn't just affect one image, it affects the different elements of your site, which can include text and images. Hovering over each one will show you how it affects your individual pages. Lastly, we're going to look at themes. You can see I have bold check down here, which is the theme I chose when I created the site. Now there are a lot more than the original six it shows you when you first set up. And you can scroll through these and check them out. If you hover over, you get that little description that tells you what that theme is trying to portray on your site, and you get the color scheme on the right hand side here. And that does mean when you change themes, it will change the color scheme. So let's change to fresh. I can see how my site looks with this new design, and I can customize the site design. These are the exact same options that we saw up here for our existing theme. And I can switch back to my logo color palette if I'd like. And hopefully you like the design that Wix has chosen, judging on your, your choices that you've made. So you won't have to go through these themes because it can be time consuming, it's changing your whole site. But this is just so you know the option is there if you're really not liking the way your site looks. So we're gonna switch gears away from designing and creating your site and move more towards the back end and some settings there. So if we go to the site dropdown, the first thing I'm gonna to highlight is, is get found on Google. I think this is Wix's way of 
of making SEO seem more friendly, at least to you as the, the one setting it up. And I think they've done a great job on it. I've played around with their Wix SEO Wiz, and it made it all very manageable and made it feel like I knew what I was doing. So once you get your site all set up, I'd really recommend going into their SEO Wiz and getting this back part of your site set up to, to help you get found on the search engines like Google. We go back over here. The next one up is connected domain, which is very important because you cannot publish your site until you've connected a domain, which is like your web address. So hostingsreviews.com is ours. You're able to connect a domain that you purchased elsewhere if you already have one, or if you'd like to buy one through Wix, you can do so here as well. So just click whichever one's relevant to you and it'll walk you through the steps of what you need to do. Next up is site history. This is one of my favorite things. It's like undo, but on steroids. So let's say you were working on your site a bunch in the middle of the night and you've made some changes you're not really happy with. This is where you wanna go. You can revert it to a previous version. For instance, right now, we were just playing around and changed the design. And you know what? I liked the way it looked previously. Now, if you're curious what these different versions look like, you just click the blue arrow next to it to see what that version is. So this is what I'm looking at what it looked like when I originally created it. And there you go, that's exactly what it looked like when I first started. But I just want to restore it to what I had before I changed the themes. And we're going to jump... Next is site history, which is my favorite because it's basically like the undo button but on steroids. If you were working on your website late at night, and you made all these changes that you thought were great at the time and then realized that was a really bad decision, this is where you go to put it back to a previous version. Or, like we just did right now, we were messing around with the page design to see if we like something else, and you know what? I really miss the old design. So you can look through the past revisions to see which one you want to revert back to, and you do that just by clicking this view here. It's going to show me what version this one was. Yep, this is the one I want to go back to with my logo up in the middle. So I just click Restore. And it's going to restore my website back. The other neat thing about this area is if you know you're going to be playing around with your design, you can name it so that it's easier for you to find the version you want to go back to. And that's why I love the site history area. Now, the last two are dashboard and settings, and there are a lot of crossover between the two of them, so I'll just go into settings first. This is where you can You're do your domain your plan as well, here, your, plan, your, your you rename your na I'm sorry, site, your and site I encourage name. you to go in here and, I encourage and familiarize you to yourself familiarize with what's in the familiarize settings. Familiarize yourself this is with totally what's totally bias, but I would definitely recommend in. that. Checking out the favicon section. Favicons are the little images that show up in your tabs for the different sites. There's hosting and series reviews is favicon. Uh, I think it's just a, a, a neat little thing you can add and it rounds out the site. Now we're going to go to dashboard and this is what you see once you have your account all set up. Every time you go into Wix, you'll be brought to this dashboard. So you'll be able to see your website right here that you're working on. See if anything's connected to it, what plan you're on, all that stuff. You can mess around with different actions for the site itself. But what I encourage you to make sure you keep an eye on is are your analytics over here on the left hand side. It's not as robust as Google Analytics, but it shows you your stats, it shows you your visits. Um, obviously the site isn't published, so there isn't actually anything here for me. And then it shows you where your traffic comes from. So that's something I highly recommend you keep an eye out on your dashboard. The dashboard also shows you kind of where you are in your setup process. I'm obviously not very far along, but it'll let you know if you're you're missing anything, which I really like because sometimes you might overlook something. Your, your site m might be published, but you haven't added the email or, or whatever it might be that they're, they're giving you hints on here. Wix also has a very robust help area, so I would highly recommend utilizing their help center. Search for any topic tutorials that you're looking for and it'll, it'll really give you a rabbit hole of information to go down. And with that, it concludes our step-by-step -step guide to creating your Wix website. I really hope you found it helpful. I absolutely loved using Wix's ADI program and I'd love to hear your comments, any questions you have, and please post your website below so I can see how you, how you worked with it. And don't forget to check out the original article on host agency reviews. Thanks for watching and we'll chat soon.